Coyotes are a perfect example of an animal that's learned to live in virtually every environment in North America, including really dense urban areas. They are extremely adaptable and will learn to take advantage of any situation we give them. So if we leave any food out, whether we intend for them to eat it or not, they're going to make use of that food, including kind of weird foods like compost or bird seed. And they're going to make use of spaces under your house to den or bed. So if you want to reduce conflict, you have to make sure we give them absolutely no incentive to come into our residential areas. We wanted to take a really sort of multidisciplinary approach to studying how coyotes live in Edmonton. And to do that, we combine information on where they live and how they move around with uh, GPS collars that could take their locations every three hours. So really like fine scale data on where they're living. And we could also tell what they're eating based on their hair samples with chemical analysis. And we collected their scat throughout the city. And to add to those two, we also recorded things like how healthy they were, um, you know, their sex and their age and also any reports we could get from people about whether these animals came in conflict with people or not. So we had a lot of different types of data that we put all together to get more of a comprehensive picture about how to prevent conflict between coyotes and humans. It's really nice to know as a grad student that your work isn't just going to go sit on a shelf somewhere, that no one's going to care about your results. I already know that the city really cares about what we found with the project and that they can actually implement the things that we found, like to address disease transmission if we want to prevent conflict or what sort of attractants really bring coyotes into backyards. So it's been really rewarding.